Um, this piece is actually about, uh, actually dedicated to all those great people we lost due to gentrification, thanks to, uh, yeah. thanks to Bloomberg. Yeah, <laughs> it's entitled Sold Streets. Did you know the city only exists in the eye of the projector? Its film is becoming far too thin and ready to crumble, and the streets are sold. The projectionist is on his way out. He found an eviction notice on his door this morning. The beauty queen of Glamour Magazine, 1983, now lives under the scaffolding of 91st Street beneath the thumb of AIDS. But the tides of good fortune could not carry her away far enough from the streets and sidewalks and rooming houses which are exposed when those pools of fame run dry. Now she wears the face of disease which came on like beauty's final curse, as vicious as a praying mantis on Broadway. Here, ruin presses against the skin, leaving its mark like a fingerprint on still glass. Under the watch, excuse me, under the watch of Millionaire's Row of West 86th Street, the Dexter House does not sit quietly. <coughs> its children only know night. Waking at four in the afternoon, to walk as silent shadows who pass by on Riverside Drive, to sustain the winds off the Hudson River, which beats against their sides as an invisible friend. Most live with winter in their hearts as the disgrace of landlords running unchecked grows as a decaying threat, while others perform at penny arcades. All have given up looking for something to keep clean in cleansing fire. Those who live behind the section doors are often forgotten by time while replacing sleep with the voices down the hall, which, uh, excuse me, where bathroom doors sit open, waiting for the next casualty. Wanda is uh, frantic again, looking for the soul that she lost in a, da in a downtown Brooklyn bar where, she still li where it still lies stained by the boots of those squatters she once laid. In the side of the city, empty storefronts sprout like cocktails over a polluted heart with for rent signs pressed against their windows. Housing court has become a collection agency for the landlord, for the landlords. Judges are nothing more than overpaid clerks. There is no defense for SRO tenants, working class regular apartment tenants, squatters, or Section 8 tenants. Witnesses to the crimes of iron jaw landlords pass by with deep seated contempt or fish eyed indifference, then vanish from memory as they reach the end of the set. Thank you. And on the same thing, here is a uh, untitled piece. Who are these faces? that walk in the gray light of the city along the equatorial lines of the grid? Who are these names which seep from the section doors of SROs only to be pressed in still time where old ghosts sit at, di at diner counters waiting with cups of coffee on stained napkins? You will not understand bloodthirsty cops from Long Island unravel their flypaper to catch the natives of the tenements under the wild moon, only to dump them in the psych wards of St. Luke's. This is the opera of the SROs, last take of a city that has turned back on itself, the final number before the lights go out on the crowd. The shelters are open again. Your landlord sleeps with the souls of janitors looking to weep, uh, to wipe the, uh, the building clean of uh, the, excuse me, to wipe the building clean of genius, of unprofitable ideas, plucking each one like rubies off the subway tracks as the, as the strap hangers watch you fade into a, a blur as the city buses, as the city bus passes under the neon night where uh, where rooms once used for locals are now full again with tourists. Okay. 
And um, this last piece is uh, the passing of Jim Carroll is actually coming up. The anniversary of his death is coming up. And this is actually what I read um, at a memorial for him. It's entitled On the Passing of Jim Carroll. That which does not heal cuts in the other direction. And Jim, you, call, you crawled through the, that slit on Christ's, si on Christ's side only to be pled, bled into a city of junk and art where you slept at the Chelsea Hotel or worked the desk at the factory. The sick morning can finally relax its hand from your throat in this, the season of your passing. Uh, now that your keyboard has gone silent, even the air weeps, not being able to taste your words, which were precise, but somehow delicate, but no less savage. I know that you dance those, among those stars in a New York sky hidden from the light so far below from 42nd Street, Astor Place, Alphabet City, or, Ch or Chelsea. But now your words come down like rain in the pages of a novel not yet released, or performances forgotten, or your last show at the bottom line. Thank you. <laughs>